Hi, my name is Ryan Hentges, and I'm Vice President of Corporate Services at Minnesota Valley Electric Cooperative. Thanks for taking some time today to view our video on Smart Hub, our online energy portal. Smart Hub was developed to provide quick and easy access to member electrical account and usage information. We hope the information contained in Smart Hub will provide transparency and actionable information to help you understand and manage your electric bill. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the tool and some quick tips on how to use it. At any time, feel free to contact our office for additional information. You can access Smart Hub by typing www.mvec.net into your internet web browser. Once you get to our home page, you'll have two options for connecting to Smart Hub. First, you can click on the Pay View Bill Now icon, or you can click on the Smart Hub icon in the lower left hand part of your screen. Either way, after you click, you'll be directed to a new page, and this page will allow you to either sign up for Smart Hub if you have not done so already, or if you've previously signed up, you can simply put in your email address and the password that you created during the sign up process. After you've signed up or put your email address in, you can click Login. Once you click the Login button, you will be prompted to enter a security passphrase. The security passphrase is an optional component. If you don't wish to enter one, you can click on the Close button in the upper right hand corner. A security passphrase is different from a password. The passphrase is used to identify that this site is actually the site that you intend to be at and used to verify that payment information is done accurately. You will now be directed to the home page within Smart Hub. This is the home page where you'll see all of your different account information and have options to go look at different information. You'll be able to quickly make a payment by clicking on the Make Payment button or on the Pay Now button in the upper right hand corner. Notice the blue bar going across the top. This is where you'll be able to click to look at billing information, to look at profile information, to look at usage information, and to set up notifications. At this point you'll be directed to the main home page within Smart Hub. On this page you'll see an account overview which will have your name and account number below it. You'll also see your next due date, the amount that's to be paid, um, and the total amount due. From this page you'll also be able to view a bill and make a payment at this point. You can make a payment by clicking on the green button titled Make Payment or in the upper right hand corner Pay Now. All pages within Smart Hub will have the blue banner at the top, which will allow you to click on a billing and payment screen, and go to My Profile, look at My Usage, or review notifications that have been set up or that you would like to set up. If you click on the Billing and Payments tab, you'll be taken to the next page. This page will show you your accounts. If you have more than one account, each account will show up on a separate line and it will also allow you to pay your bill from there. As well in the middle you can click on the view usage hyperlink and that will take you to your electrical usage in daily and hourly information for that billing time period. On the left hand side of the screen if you click on billing history you'll be taken to the next screen which shows you your history on the account. It will show you all the bills going back for a number of years. You will see the printed bill amount and clicking on the view bill hyperlink will bring up the actual bill. In addition you can click on the view usage which will again take you to your usage for that specific time period. Again on the left hand side of the screen you can click on the payment history. This will bring up a listing of all payments that you've made on the account and also show you how you made that payment if it was by recurring credit card or by check. The final tab on the billing and payments screen is for recurring credit cards. Here if you'd like you could set up a recurring credit card so that the payment will be added to that credit card on a monthly basis. 
clicking on the My Profile tab will bring, to, bring you to a location where you can update a number of pieces of information. You can update your email address or password, your billing address and contact information, bank account and credit card information. You can update your security passphrase and set up secret hint questions. You can also update your printed bill settings. This will allow you to choose to receive the bill electronically instead of via paper. Clicking on the My Usage tab will show you your electrical usage by month, by day, and by hour. If you'll see on this screen, on the left hand side it shows your energy usage by kilowatt hour. On the lower side it shows you the month. You'll see on this screen there are actually two different bars, one shaded in green and one shaded in yellow. The green bar is the total amount of electricity used at that location, while the yellow bar is how much was our off-peak energy-wise usage used at that location. Looking across, you'll also see a line which indicates the temperature, the average temperature during that time period. If you click on a specific month, it will take you into the usage for each day during that month. And again, this is information that comes from the meter on the side of your house that says how much was used per day. Here we can see a graph showing all the different days in the month uh, for each meter. The line going across again shows the average temperature during that time frame. If you're interested in a specific day and want to find out additional information on that specific day, for instance, October 7th in this case, you can click on the 7 under the tab and that will take you to the next screen which will show you hourly data for that location. The hourly graph displays how much you used by hour for that time period. The arrows on the upper right and the upper left hand side will allow you to navigate forward or backward by one day or by one month. So you can use that to obtain additional information about how and when you're using electricity. On the screen in front of us, we'll, we can see that this member uses, or on this specific day, used more electricity between the hours of 11 and noon than at other parts of the day. If you're interested in obtaining additional information, you can look off to the left-hand side of the screen on, and click on the Analysis hyperlink. The Analysis page will allow you to do a, a variety of different analyses on the data. This screen shows average energy usage by month for the, all the months between November 2010 and November 2012. Again, for this account, you'll see the majority of electricity is used in the summer during the month of July. You can also run an analysis on average energy usage by hour between a specified date period. Here we ran it between May 1st, 2012 and November 6th of 2012. This data shows that the majority of usage is between 11 and midnight and uh, 5 and 6 a.m. You can adjust those date ranges by clicking on the date range button and extending the time frame. Please note that the longer the time frame, the longer it will take the report to run. The last option is to look at average energy usage by day of week. So here you'll see this member uses more energy on Sundays than on other days. If you would like to compare bills, you can look at a month-to-month -month comparison. You do this by clicking on the Bill Comparison hyperlink on the left-hand side of the screen under the My Usage tab. This allows you to look at a variety of months and compare usage during that time frame. On the screen in front of you, you'll see a comparison between August 2012 and September 2012. The graphs show the metered usage during that time frame. The red line shows the average temperature during that time frame. Below, you'll see a chart showing a variety of different pieces of information. 
total current charges, total usage, and different temperature information. For a quick reference, on the right-hand side, you can see the differences between the two, knowing if cost went up during that time frame, if usage went up, and also temperature information. The final tab in Smart Hub is a notifications tab. Here's where we manage a variety of communication mediums so that we can always be in communication with you. It's set up in such a way that allows you to customize your communications with us. You'll see in the initial tab that there's a feed directly from our Facebook page so you can quickly see what's going on uh, without logging into Facebook. You also have an option to activate notifications if you look at the left hand side of the screen and to manage notifications. Active notifications allows you to go in and set up communications with us either through email or through texting. If you click on the manage notifications tab you'll be able to set up a variety of notifications with us. Currently the list is somewhat limited but we'll be adding to these notifications over time. You can set up a notification so that you know when a bill, bill is available, when there's a billing change, uh, payment confirmations, and a variety of other information. And that brings us to an end of the quick tutorial on Smart Hub. We hope that we've answered a few of your questions, but please contact us with additional questions so we can make future videos to answer those questions. We also want to make you aware that there is a smartphone app to access Smart Hub. We'll be posting additional information on how to download that app in the near future. Thank you for your time.